Okay, guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Elden Ring. Now, because of the magic that is the internet, um, it probably won't be super obvious uh, on YouTube. Um, but I haven't played this game in two weeks. I think two weeks exactly. Um, a lot of things have... If, has, uh, wow, I'm, I'm gonna restart that. A lot of things have happened to me. I, I started a new job, um, was out for a week, out of town for a week, went to a wedding, um, still in school and whatnot, and so that has really just bogged down on me. But I'm, I'm finally settling in, I'm getting a bit of a routine with my job. Um, don't think I'll be able to record as much as I was before. And this is all still new to me, uh, of course, um, but I think I'll still be able to, like, go with a continual pattern, which is to try and have a new episode out just about every day, but I'll just record them in, in bigger batches and whatnot, um, so that I'm able to, like, project and, and give myself time when things come up. Either way, um, enough about me, uh, and, like, all my personal stuff. I did play a little bit before, uh, recording... Um, didn't do anything major. I just wanted to uh, explore Gatefront Ruins a bit, just to refamiliar myself with the controls. Uh, I might still a little be a little bit rusty because it's been two weeks, but I didn't want to come here uh, and try and figure out everything and have you guys, you know, suffer through all that. I think there's also been some updates since uh, we've last played. Um, so, like this icon looks different to me. I don't know what it means. Um, I saw something interesting over here. I don't know if it's just maybe somehow we didn't explore it before. Um, or if it's something that's been added to the game. But either way, I didn't want to explore too much. We can, we can see that together. Wanted to save that for the actual stream itself. Man, I am just... I'm just a little Jimmy excited to, uh, to, to play some games again. Uh, last two weeks have been very busy on me. So yeah, somewhere over here... There was like this lightning that I saw. Yeah! Like... Like I... I feel like we've been over here before in this area because it's not too far from the camp. But maybe we haven't. Maybe somehow we just did this entire time. But either way, I definitely don't remember the lightning. Um, I don't even know what these are for. But yeah, either way, I wanted to come over here and. Uh, Kind of show you guys this. Okay, so we've been here before because we we bought these giants. So okay, maybe there wasn't all that much of the lightning, and that's just something we missed. Let's keep exploring this area. Uh, and I think today I want to visit here and maybe go further up this path because I believe the last time when we left off we traveled this path all the way down uh, and met with this road to try and like see if that old woman was there. So let's do that. Let's set a marker over here. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Um, not a marker, a beacon. <laughs> and we will fast travel here. Okay. <laughs> um. Oh, that's not the direction I was expecting. Oh, you know what? This looks like a cliff. You guys see that? 
So it might make more sense actually to do it here. And so we can follow that fork. Um, while I've been on hiatus for the past two weeks, I've been thinking about the channel a lot and what I want to do uh, with it. Um, of course, at any point, if you guys have like suggestions for games, uh, feel free to tag them along. I wanted to start off this uh, this channel um, with Elden Ring, just because it seemed like a popular game that a lot of people would enjoy, and something a little bit out of my element and whatnot. Um, but there's also some older games that I would be really interested in playing. I've just been thinking about some of the games that I kind of want to explore on the channel. Um, I know they may not be the most popular, but there are some older games that I'd like to, uh, to check out. Just because I already own them and I'm familiar with them, um, I feel like the experience playing Elden Ring has been very unique that I'm going into it blind and it might be a, a little bit of a different experience tackling a game that's uh, one, that I'm familiar with, but also two, that's just smaller. Like, this game is large and it's going to take a lot more hours for me to, like, complete this series for you guys. So the next one I want to tackle... Um, I figured I'd give myself, like, a, a smaller, more, like, linear uh, game to try and check out. I also didn't check what the update was. So, uh, there's that. Oh. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's what I get for, for calling the game easy. to you. Wait, what? No, why are you doing that? <laughs> Let's try that again. Rhea Lucaria, hollowed hall dedicated to the study of magic. Why shut your doors to me? Am I barred from donning the crown of stone? That sounds a little bit familiar. I feel like maybe we've talked about Take the fork. I am so sorry, guys. <laughs> My bad. There is a slight temptation for me to just like restart the entire series uh, <laughs> and pretend that didn't happen, but I won't. Let's just verify. Okay, this doesn't. I mean, I kind of see now that it's a beaten path, but that did look like a road to me at first. Um, 
I know this guy's gonna lead us to a cave. Okay, yeah, we've explored that already. Yeah, so let's, um... Let's just hop back on the road. I could have sworn I saw another wolf. And that kind of makes me nervous. But maybe not.
Okay, okay. That double jump was pretty smooth, though. I like it. Gotta keep remembering to use it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> going on a lot of blood um okay let's go into our inventory and we'll check out uh which one of these we want to use we have quite a few now and i know some we've upgraded i think the marker i was using is like the fp cost it seemed like the higher the fp the better the uh the spirit was. Or the ashes. Okay, so this one's 81. This is 88. I think that's what I used. Yeah, that's what I used. 104, but we probably can't afford that. And then 100. Okay, guys. Sorry. I think I figured out um, why there was so much lag. I did not clear out any of the previous files from all my recording before I came back. Uh, and so the capture stopped immediately because the file was full and then I had to go through and delete a bunch of stuff. So hopefully, uh, kinda sucks that it like broke up my, my thought process, but uh, hopefully we'll be fine for now. This will run a lot faster and a lot smoother. But cool, so we will use this guy for now. Let's see. We marked this. I am curious. I'm assuming this place has some sort of entrance. And probably a, um, a side of grace. Entrances down there. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's take that off our map. And then I guess we'll keep following the path and see. It kind of looks like this is all a cliff, so I'm wondering how we get down there. Well, we'll explore either way. Let's see what's up. I'm guessing all those blood stains that we saw back at the cliff were from uh. People trying to jump down, though. 
So I'm going to assume that jumping isn't it's an option. Hey. I will take the great sight though. I just noticed I pick up a lot of stuff, but I don't craft a lot. I feel like maybe that's something I should look into a bit more. of sin. Okay. Very curious as to what that is. Yeah, look at all this stuff that we don't use. Oh, it's a spell. Okay. not anything that we're really focused on, so I'm going to ignore it for now. For the different classes, I'm very curious. Feel free to comment and let me know. If you do, like, wasn't there like a sorcerer or something that you could be? Um, if you pick that class, then does FP generate over time? Or is it still like you have to rest in between? Because if it's still you have to rest in between, that kind of sucks. Or you're like limited on what spells you can use. Or I guess like maybe spells are your primary, but you can still, like, revert to, like, melee weapons and whatnot. I don't know. It probably won't be anytime soon, but I'm kind of curious about, uh, checking out some of the other, uh, starting classes. Look at these guys. I like their design. Oh, oh! I get for fangirling over his outfit. Okay, I want to go back and check out that camp. Guessing we'll probably run into more of the same guys. See me? 
I'm gonna sneak around and try and uh, get a sneaky attack on the uh, the big guy. Love the detail of all the arrows in the uh, the fence. That's pretty dope. Yeah, when he comes back out here, we'll try and see if we can't get a a critical hit on him. How did he not? Oh my god. We didn't get it in here. That sucks. Alright. Oh. Okay, not too bad. Okay. Is that a spell, maybe? Taking that one of those before. Let's uh, let's go for it. That's what makes uh, this game so satisfying, it's, it's stuff like that. It's so cool. Oh, look at these guys. so much to explore right now. That's all. And I'm missing a lot. <laughs> I'm going to guess that there is a uh, grace of yeah. Just the, uh, the design of that building. Which just made sense. Uh, let's. No, let's, let's not risk. Don't really feel like there's any reason to. We still have a lot of potions and we're almost at full health, so. Oh, look at this guy. You're tarnished, aren't you? I welcome you to the Church of Vows. I am Muriel. 
Steward of this sacred chamber, my apologies for the unseemly state of affairs. Do you know the origin of this place? How it came to be known as the Church of Vows? I don't. Oh, I didn't mean to back out of his... Your time, <laughs> I welcome... I am Miriam. My apology. Do you know how it came? Well, that is a shame. But who can blame you? The shattering has caused us, all of us, to lose sight of something very dear. It is here, at the Church of Vows, that the great houses of the Erd Tree and the Moon were joined by the matrimonial bond between red-haired Radican and Renala of the Full Moon. And so our church holds in view the monuments of both houses, the Erd Tree of the Capitol and the Academy of Rea Lucaria. I've not been saying that name correctly. <laughs> oh, was there something you needed? You are free to show yourself around. I would serve as your guide, only my legs aren't what they used to be. If you find anything of use, you are free to take it with you. Unless, perhaps, you are in search of instruction. In which case, I will share all that I know. Maybe he teaches spells or something? Yep. Oh, and we can give him a prayer book. I like his Pope hat. Is there something else? You wish to know more of Lord Radigan. Lord Radigan was a great champion, possessed of flowing red locks. He came to these lands at the head of a great golden host. When he met Lady Renala in battle, he soon repented his territorial aggressions there and became husband to the Carian Queen. However, when Godfrey, first Elden Lord, was hounded from the lands between, Radigan left Renala to return to the Erdtree capital, becoming Queen Marika's second husband and King Consort, taking the title of second Elden Lord. The mystery endures to this day as to why Lord Radigan would cast Lady Renala aside, and moreover, why a mere champion would be chosen for the seat of Elden Lord. I know it's not super uh, exciting or fast-paced, but it's cool to finally you wish get to some know more uh, of Lady Renala. context. She is queen, head of the Carian royal family, and governor of the Academy of Rea Lucaria, the great and beautiful full moon witch. Sadly, her heart was broken when Lord Radigan left her. And then, when the Academy rebelled against the Royals, she was locked away in the Grand Library. You know, it's said that Lord Radigan harbored a secret. A famed sculptor of the Erdtree capital was once summoned to render Lord Radigan's likeness in giant stature when he glimpsed the skeleton in Radigan's closet. And as such, it's said the great statue harbors his secret, too. Interesting. I feel like that's a hint, maybe. In the end, Lady Renala was left alone, cradling the amber egg Lord Radigan bequeathed her. Now she devotes herself to it through forbidden rite, the grim art of reincarnation. You would do well to remember Severing a vow, strongest of bonds, has consequences ever more dire. Oh. Is there something? I keep hitting the wrong buttons. You know, it's said that Lord Rad a fame okay. when he glimpsed the and as such it. Um, should we give him this prayer book? Let's do it. Oh, what have we here? Very well, let us both learn together. That's cute. Heresy is not native to the world. It is but a contrivance. All things can be conjoined. Okay.
Oh, well, what have we here? Very well, let us both learn together. Heresy is not native to the world. All things... Oh, what have we here? Very well, let us both learn together. Heresy is not native to the world. It is but a contrivance. All things can be conjoined. I'm confused about why the dialogue was the same. Is that maybe like a skill or something that we gained by giving that to him? Or did I just waste that? I don't know. Um, oops. Um, that sounds scary, but sure. Oh. Okay. Hey, a chest! Finally, tailor our clothes and make something that's useful. Because <laughs> uh, I do remember being rather annoyed about that. That part of the game. Um, you know what? I know I said we weren't going to rest, but let's rest just so we can close our FP. So we have the potential to use that, and then maybe also uh, I keep getting A and B confused. I don't know why. Um, level up if we can, yeah. I don't remember what we were focused on last time, but my. Gut is saying that I want to get to 100 FP so that we can use those other ashes. Uh, and we're only a few away, so let's try that. And then we'll keep traveling. somewhere here. Oh. Here. Um. And then I'm going to try and get on the road so that hopefully we don't miss too much. I am. <laughs> I am all over the that's not a bar. Okay. Please. It's like the Minotaurus, but they're like... They're not glowing. Interesting. Gnarly. existence. <laughs> oh, where are we? No! I won't... <laughs> I know we don't have a lot, but I still want my money. <laughs> Okay. 
this area is going to be terrible to try and get through. Oh, it's up there. Where are we in context of everything? Okay. Um. I really don't want to deal with these guys right now. I'm going to go back here. Uh, travel down uh, the road the other way. guy like <laughs> legitimately startled me. Um, should we try it? Let's try. Let's uh let's take him on. And uh see how it goes. take us underground like that other location and I don't want to do that yet but that's cool that we know that it stretches out all the way over here um I am. <laughs> I'm so anxious. I feel like, uh, I don't know. That just looked like a great spot for an ambush.
Oh, you know what? I'm just... My, my mind is all over the place. But I was just thinking about, like, the uh, Sorcerer class. I guess they could use FP potions as well, even if their FP doesn't regenerate. And that kind of, like, makes up for it. Let's go ahead and rest here. O oh, celestial globe transmit transmit to posterity. Apparently I read way too slow for this game. <laughs> That's embarrassing. O oh, celestial globe, transmit to posterity the wisdom of the moon and the stars. And obscure forever the transgressions, transgressions of the princess. I'm sorry, that was horrible. <laughs> On my foot. find something to put here. Cool. I like it. Very, very Indiana Jones-esque. I hate the sounds that it's... Oh, that's... That's coming from outside of my apartment. So it's like revving their engine. It was like really low at first. I thought it was a part of the uh, the sound design of the game. This looks cool. I don't. <laughs> I don't even know where to go. <laughs> things. It, they look like severed hands with way too many fingers. Okay, we took the bow off because it was overloading us, right? I think I'm just going to replace it with the potion for now, or the, uh, the spell. Because I want to have more access to it. I'm gonna draw the uh, smithing stones. Ooh. I mean, they don't seem to be too hard to uh, to kill, but they gross me out. slow. Are we still connected? Did I look at that wrong? Yeah, 
we are barely. But we are. Okay, we'll, we'll switch back to the. Uh, yeah. That sucks. Okay. Well, this place looks cool, but now I'm. prepare for some freaky shit. That actually seemed to do something for once. Oh, I hate those archers. get these guys to turn the corner, we can take them first and then the archer back. Oh, but they don't want to turn the corner. Uh, rush. That's gonna be tricky. This area is gonna be tricky. I can feel it. And I almost fell down. That would have been embarrassing. There's water down there. I wonder, like, would we just drown or. I don't know how we're going to take him out.
something about those arrows, like... I haven't figured out how to, like, effectively dodge or, like, navigate through them, you know? But, uh, I think we'll have to come back with them. Because, man... Oh, you know what? I totally forgot my timer's off because the, uh, the shrimp stopped. Let's call it. It might be a little shorter, a little bit longer, depending how the first section was before we stop. But either way, like, it, it'll be a decently long episode. Um, we'll rest here, why not? Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really excited uh, being able to, like, get back into the game and whatnot and uh, play a, uh, a bit more. Um, man, bear with me as I like get through all these changes and whatnot, because I'm, with a new job coming along, um, trying to figure stuff out while still like doing grad school and like maintaining this. And there's also like a few other irons in the fire I have and other aspects of my life that I'm trying to like keep uh, updated. It's, um, it's pretty busy, but. Thank you guys for watching and all the support, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.